Hi, today I will be talking about the crawlers on Tacit. Tacit comes pre-packaged with several crawlers. Crawlers allow you to automatically compile text from various sources. You can search for specific words, topics, or categories and apply various qualifications to the data you are downloading. Here is a list of the current crawlers we have on Tacit. The one we are going to focus on today is the UC Santa Barbara Presidential Papers Crawler. The American Presidential Papers Crawler tool collects data from a database of presidential papers made available through the American Presidency Project. This organization is affiliated with and supported substantially by the University of California, Santa Barbara. They have 118,045 documents and currently are known for having the largest collection of presidential documents on the internet. The crawler will collect data from the website based on certain terms entered in the input details section and based on the date, the president, and the document category you select in the filter results section. The data you download from the crawler will automatically be saved as a tacit corpus and can be found in the corpus management tool as well as accessed through the various plugins when you want to analyze it. Once you have Tacit open, click on Crawling, located on the top bar. Then select UC Santa Barbara Presidential Papers Crawler from the drop-down menu. You should now see the UC Presidential Papers Crawler page. Note that you can click the question mark at any time to open up a help file, which includes detailed information written by a social scientist about the steps for running each plugin. The first thing you must do is enter your input details. The search term one box lets you specify words that you wish to center your collected data around. After entering this term, you then will select one of these three options. And, which means that the crawler will focus on both terms in the search term boxes and will only collect data that includes both terms. or which means the crawler will focus on either of the terms and will collect data as long as one of the terms is present, or not, which means the crawler will not collect data that includes the term inputted in the search term to box. After you make one of these three selections, you can input a term in the search term to box. For example, if I want to search presidential papers regarding taxes but not immigration, I would write taxes in the search term one box, then I would select the not option, and then I would write immigration in the second search term box. Next, you must fill out the filter results section and decide if you want to choose the option for a specified date range in which case you would be including data over a specific length of time, or if you want to specify the date, in which case you would be including data from one specific date. If you choose this option, you cannot use the search terms options from the input section. If you select specify date range, the crawler will automatically use the current date for the from and to calendar options. If you click on the small white arrow located next to the date written in the box, you can then select whatever month, day, and year you want. If you select specified date, there is a separate drop down menu for the month, day, and year. Even if you don't fill out all three of these sections, the crawler will still collect data around the dates you do choose. The reason you cannot use the search feature when you have a specific date selected is because the website itself does not support it. Next, you must select the president. You can use the drop down menu to select any president who has served throughout America's history. 
If you specify a date range and a president that are not consistent, if the president didn't serve during the year you specified, then the crawler will not return results, and although a corpus will be created, the file within it will be empty. The same thing will occur if you don't select a president at all. After this, you have to select the document category you want to collect data from. You can use the drop-down menu to see all your options. The options will specify whether a document is oral, written, part of a debate, and various other details. If you don't select any document category, then the crawler will not return results, and although, again, a corpus will be created, the file within it will be empty. Lastly, you must select the output details. By default, all collected text in TACIT is saved as a corpus in Corpus Management. All you must do is specify the name you want your corpus to be saved under in the Corpus Name box. The last step is pressing the small green Run button on the top right hand corner. Here we have alert that no results were found based on our specific search terms, which is okay. The crawler will still run and we can see in the console that the American Presidency crawler was completed successfully. If we go to view and corpus management and we look at our test one corpus, it will be created. The file in it will just be empty. If you continue running into problems, you can refer to our forum where people can ask and answer questions. If your question is not on there, you can submit one or you can contact us directly. Thanks for watching.